everyone. Well, today I'm going to be unboxing and having a first look at this Porter Wash portable twin tub washing machine. And as you can see, it's fully boxed and I'm managing to pick it up. It's very lightweight. Now I did a couple of demonstrations on a larger twin tub portable washing machine, the Good Ideas twin tub, and you'll see that on my channel. But I thought I'd try another one. This is a more, even more compact, lighter version, but it uses a similar principle of twin tubs, one for washing and one for spinning. Okay, without any further ado, let's cut the straps and we'll have a look at this machine. Now, this is not designed for people who can have a fully plumbed in automatic washer. As it says on the box, it's ideal for caravan, camping, motorhomes, boats, and student accommodation. Or if you live in rented accommodation and for any reason you can't have a plumbed in washing machine, this will save you having to go to the laundrette or have to wash everything by hand. Okay, so let's have a look. Yes, it's uh, a little bit smaller, definitely, than the Good Ideas version. Go. The handles come off this, so it's that light. It will you can carry it by this carry handle, but it's uh, packed separately there. Quite bright colours. We've got handles either side as well. Right, so there you are. It is very small and very lightweight so it'll only take a small amount of laundry i think it's 3.5 kilograms of washing but you, it's slightly less for spinning so when you spin you have to take some of the clothes out of the wash part while you're spinning it won't actually spin at the full load because the spinner is a bit smaller than the wash tub this is the wash tub and this is the spin dryer and inside the spin dryer We've got the instructions, the fill hose, which is even thinner than the fill hose on the Good Ideas one. And this is something that's, again, very cheaply made. You can buy something a little bit more substantial than this if you're going to use it on a regular basis. And a lot of people have asked me on my other twin tub video, can you fill the wash tub with a bucket? And yes, of course you can. You don't have to use the fill hose. And especially that fill hose doesn't look like it's going to actually attach to any tap that I have in my home. So pretty useless really for use in the home. Also, you have a little mat here. Now you're supposed to put that on top of the clothes before you spin them. So they need to be pushed down firmly and then the mat goes on top. I'll be showing you all this when I do a full demonstration of this machine washing, rinsing and spinning. And this side is the wash tub and at the bottom of the wash tub is the impeller and that rotates back and forth to agitate the clothes in the water. According to the instruction booklet, this machine has a washing capacity of 3.5 kilograms and a spinning capacity of 2.5 kilograms. The washing machine motor is 230 watts and the spinner motor is 116 watts. The controls on top of the machine are pretty straightforward. We've got a wash selector dial, a wash timer dial and a spin timer dial. The wash selector dial allows you to select a more gentle action for your more delicate items or normal for everyday clothing. When you want to drain the wash tub, you simply turn the dial to the drain position. The wash timer allows you to select the washing time from 3 to 15 minutes. And the spin timer allows you to select the spinning time from 1 to 5 minutes. Under this cap, there's the water inlet that allows you to attach the fill hose. At the back of the machine, you'll find storage for the cord and the plug. The drain hose is also situated on the back of the machine. And again, it's a pretty short and flimsy affair. Now, unlike some of the larger portable twin tub washers, this doesn't have a separate pump, so it relies on gravity to drain the water. 
Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at this LeisureWise portable washing machine. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing a full demonstration of this washer very soon. And don't forget to check out my other two videos on the Good Ideas portable washing machine, which is a very similar machine to this with a larger capacity and a separate pump. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.